Imagine 65% more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With exceptional gifts at up to 65% off at Simon Premium Outlets, you can do up to 65% more giving this holiday. Simon Premium Outlets, exceptional brands at up to 65% off. At Clinton Crossing Premium Outlets, don't miss the Give It All sale. Each weekend from December 1st through the 18th, enjoy extra special offers on your favorite gifts from accessories and jewelry to apparel and electronics. Up to 65% off means up to 65% more giving. Clinton Crossing Premium Outlets, a Simon Center. Jimmy Mack is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who has taken, completed, and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was shown and developed a simpler way to create healing and profound changes, now known as My Liquid Fish. He works with clients in person, on the phone, and over Skype worldwide, accessing energetic powers and co-creating changes that you can actually feel. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 713-955-0594. Press 1 if you would like to ask Jimmy Mac a question. Enjoy this one hour of profound healing. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Mack coming to you live from the studios in Clearwater, Florida. A little muggy here today, we never know. We call it our three days of winter. We have fronts and it might get as low as 70 or 60 and burr. We have to really dress up. I think we look like uh, Leonardo and the Revenant. If it gets uh, below 70 around here, everybody's breaking out the, the heavy uh, the heavy clothes. So. Uh, it's very nice here today, of course, and it's gorgeous in most Florida, most all the time. And so everything's going well. We're keeping it all stirred up, and we'll do a little housekeeping, then we'll be underway for a good show today. So if you're looking for some healing and intuitive messages from spirit, you've come to the right place. And we certainly want everybody to know that you can call in at 713 955 0594. You want to hit. Uh, pound one to raise your hand. So I've uh, got a lot of nice other shows coming up for the rest of the year, close out uh, really in a strong way. We've had a great year. Also, you can find me, of course, jimmymachealing.com. If you send me an email, info at jimmymachealing.com, we will send out all kinds of stuff, free eBooks, audios, uh, videos are in there, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's all free, folks. So we're here to help you any way we can. This is our ministry, if you will, and our form of service. And so anyone that we can help, by all means, call in, raise your hand with your question, and we'll see what we can stir up for you next Tuesday. Oh, and also tomorrow we're releasing an audio MP3, I almost forgot, on pet healing, animal pet healing. How cool is that? So I've been people have been begging me to do that for years now. And so we finally created that, and it's literally taken years. It's about a half an hour. So get on the mail list and look for that to come out tomorrow. So not a UMP3. You would actually listen to it with your pet or just focus on your pet or animal. And it will actually stir up all kinds of stuff for them and hopefully make a huge difference for your loved one. I have a big, fat black cat. He runs this house, so I'm pretty sure he knows it. So we all love animals, and as Leo the lion, of course, I love all the animals, and uh, <clears throat> anything we can do to keep it stirred up for them, we will. Hey, next Tuesday, I've got on Judy Thomas's, like Thomas's English muffins, uh, she's an incredible astrologer, author, psychic channeler. She's amazing, and I had her do a reading on me, didn't tell her anything other than my date of birth and city, and she was really spot on. That's next Tuesday, December 6th. Uh, of course, the first and third Wednesday of the month will be on Charlotte Spicer's show. Um, and uh, so you can find us there as well. You can Google Charlotte Spicer. 
and her radio show. So first and third of the month. Then on the 13th of December, I'm having uh, Dr. Darla Timpone on. She's an acupuncture physician, doctor of oriental medicine, over 25 years experience. She's amazing. I'm actually going to be at her office tomorrow in Tampa. So if you live in the Tampa Bay area, I think they have a very few select appointments left in the afternoon. The phone number there is 813-873-7773. Again, that's Charla Timpone, T-E-M-P-O-N-E. Her new office is over by Tampa General Hospital. So anyway, uh, if you're new to the Tampa Bay area or you're a longtime established client, even of mine, uh, feel free to come over and see me there. If you can schedule in the late afternoon, we'll get you on. Uh, the schedule, so we'll call them direct. December 20th, we have on the show Kara Posick. She's a visionary artist and author and has been involved in natural he- healing and quantum energy for over 50 years. So she's pretty amazing, too, and we'll have a lot to talk about on that day. I know that's a, astrologically and moon-wise a crazy, crazy day, so be interesting. Today's guest is, and I'm thrilled to have her on, is Reverend Sarah Nash. And she's a super profound psychic, um, really great reader. She's devoted more than 30 years studying and researching sacred spiritual encounters. Of course, the paranormal, the supernatural, the occult phenomenon like me, she loves all that. Been guided to become a spiritual response practitioner, certified life coach, Reiki master teacher, and ordained minister. She's an empath, a channel, and profoundly clairvoyant. She remains committed to body, mind, spirit connection to her white light express endeavor and other credible holistic communities worldwide. Sarah is a steadfast believer in the power of faith, healing, and the miraculous manifestations that we can bring about working with positive, focused intention. You can find out more about her at whitelightexpress.org. That's, of course, www dot white light w h i t e light l i g h t express e x p r e s s dot so without further ado we want to invite uh sarah nash to go live on our show how are you sarah i'm having a great morning how are you love it fantastic thrilled to hear your voice live and thanks for being on the show today if i don't thank you enough and uh Really thrilled for you to be here. So much to talk about and work through, and uh, you and I could just yuckety-yuck for the next three hours, right? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I've been uh, doing a little bit of research, listening to some of your past shows. What a great host you are. Oh, well, thank you. You're sweet. You know, I'll tell you the cutest, funniest thing I could tell you about that, and I had to be pushed and dragged and, you know, uh, pushed out onto the stage and doing this when my two sons were very young we would pull into the drive-thru and if they were acting up I I would always tease them and I'd say don't make dad use the radio announcer voice (laughs) oh dad you're embarrassing us and I'd go hello and good afternoon we'd like a double cheeseburger with small fries and they would be just be mortified you know (laughs) I love it and then I guess I I was forecasting what I might someday do and you know I'll tell you, I've been in the intuitive world so long and done so many different things, but probably, I have to do the math, I'm 55 now, I had to have been maybe 25. So at 25, even, I was interested in all this, and my wife and I at the time were out in Puerto Rico, and I got a reading by a guy out by the pool, and he's some wicked intuitive and psychic reader and did cards and everything else. He goes, Jimmy, you're going to be doing this one day and you're going to be healing people worldwide. I'm looking at him going, this dude has drank way more than me. There's no (laughs) way I'm doing all this. So here we are, but I'm thrilled to talk to you live. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, let's keep it stirred up. Tell folks a little bit about you. I mean, I touched on it, but tell them about your endeavor. And of course the, uh, 5013C and that sort of thing and, and what you're working on right now. Well, thanks for for uh, giving me the opportunity to do that because today is mm-hmm. actually Giving Tuesday. And uh, we've been trying. The White Light Express has been around for over 15 years now. We actually had our 15th anniversary um, in October. And we wanted to have a gathering. Uh, we just didn't, we, you know, financially, like, 
you know, the good old almighty dollar, <laughs> those gold coins, karma coins don't pay for your groceries. I want to do this little video where I walk into the grocery store and I like, you know, try to check out and then I look at the, uh, <laughs> the cashier and I go, oh, but I have so many karma coins. <laughs> yeah, all, like, these, huh? all, these, <laughs> all these good works that we do, people like you, me, um, others that, that you and I are, are familiar with, uh, we do this because of love. You oh, know, no and, doubt. And, and yeah. really, love is the only thing that really mm-hmm. can be divided without being diminished. Mm-hmm. Uh, but That's however, well said. I love that. <laughs> it's something that I have here on my, my computer, uh, at my baseboard, on my computer, on my, my monitor, because it reminds me that, that you know, love, love is the answer to everything. It's, it's the path to your heart and the true heart. And, um, you know, the thing behind all of that, though, is that when you're trying to build a foundation uh, like the White Light Express, this started out because two, my, my very best friend, Avis Latone, and I, uh, we would always say, I'll pray for you if you pray for me. And oh, after 911, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, where two or more are gathered, things happen. And, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, the Christian, the, the, the Christian thought behind that is, you know, where two or more gathered, there I am. And there I am, meaning Christ consciousness, uh, consciousness in general. Um, I try to go non-denominational. I myself am a Christian. However, sure. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't ask other people to follow my path. As long as they're mm-hmm. following a path of light, then, you know, it's, it's not for me to, to make a determination. However, with the White Light Express, after 911, people started realizing that we were, we were open. Basically, the way I look at it is uh, America lost her virginity on that day. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in a way, we had to go forth and we were no longer that, that untouchable nation. We were just as open to these attacks as anybody else. And I don't want to get all political with that because you know, I understand what so you're saying. We, yeah. we 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 lost our our innocence more than anything. It's uh, and Indeed. I understand what you're saying. Cause they used to, they used to, you know, they'd they'd you'd walk onto any plane, honey, and and you'd look to the left, and there's everything all open, and the pilot and the co-pilot stand there waving at the little kids. It was like a ride at the fair or something. You know what I mean? And um, and back in the day, we would go buy a ticket at Tampa National Airport. You could have told them Fred Smith, oh, here's your here's your ticket, Mr. Smith, to fly to Tallahassee or whatever and have a nice flight, right? So, oh, absolutely. All, all that changed. Everything <laughs> changed. So the right. prayer aspect of it, it was the first time that I had gathered with a group of people since uh, – since I was a little girl, um, when we had the, uh, I think it was 1973 when the Olympics, they held those hostages. I can't, mm-hmm. I can't recall it exactly, but it was the first time we we began gathering as as a large group of people, because we just felt those of us who are intuitive empaths and spiritual empaths, we felt so deeply the pain. I don't think I know anyone who has not been affected, one way or another, as a result of mm-hmm. that tragic tragic incident here in the United States, but, and all over. See, now our, our compassion and our empathy for what our brothers and sisters around the world are dealing with, um, you know, translating everything to its highest possible potential is what I believe um, my work is based on. So we began praying for other people, and people would say, well, can you pray for me too? And, and we would, and we started ha- watching tangible miracles happen as a result of many, many people focusing their intention on just a single person. And so we began expanding that to two or three people. We used to have these like little box cars. That's where the White Light Express, uh, the, imagine a little train and all these little box cars and each person has their own little box car with their own intentions inside of it for healing or manifestation or transformation. Some people needed jobs, some people needed uh, scholarships, some people, we had brain cancer, um, other things. And we began watching people return home. Uh, we actually had this one at the very beginning. We called it the Lost Boys. Uh, it was a little box car that we created for these. These uh, it was two mothers who had who had lost their boys. They'd run away, and they were involved. In, and at the week, the very week we began praying, 
these boys had been missing for, uh, well, not missing, but away from home for a few months. They 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 came home. I love it. They came it. home and yeah. they were healthy yeah. and. And so more and more and more of this started happening. So we we started that in October of 2001, and we just we we've not stopped. We've not stopped. Okay. And now what we'd like to do is we would really like to create a legacy, so that we can offer scholarships to young men and women or anybody really attending university. Um, mm-hmm. So the, the Olympics you're referring to are the 72 Olympics, Munich. I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that uh, was I just the remember first time. off the top of my head, but yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well done. Mm-hmm. So what we want to do is offer a scholarship uh, to young men and women who uh, maybe scientists who are open to understanding the spiritual side of science because science, I think, is going to become the new religion. And then, of course, uh, artists who are interested in science. So right. it, it's it's something that we want to keep going uh, with regard to the foundation, and and helping others, helping others. And as you know, it's it's not it's it, <laughs> it's a labor of love to keep up uh, server web servers and hosting fees and all of that. And and I've been oh, pretty much doing uh, it out of pocket for a few years. Mm-hmm. And I'm so very, very grateful to the wonderful people who have, who have sent in donations over the years to assist with all of that. But, yeah, Giving Tuesday. So we have a you caring. Uh, we have an attorney. We have a, a CPA. We've, we've got it all lined up. All we okay. need is, is the, the rest of the uh, – it, it, the paperwork involved in becoming a 501c3 is really, really – it's overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Any more? Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's only, it almost costs you a lot of money to be nonprofit. It's quite funny, really. Yeah. And the interesting yeah. thing is, once you become the nonprofit, then you can write that off. <laughs> it's sort of like you, that's you funny. can't I love money that. until Who you knew? got the money. Yeah. All right. Who knew? Well, that's like that's like when you uh, are broke, honey, and you want to file bankruptcy, and the attorney says, "Well, just give me five thousand dollars, and we'll be underway." And it's like if I had five thousand dollars, I wouldn't be sitting here, right? Right. So, <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's I've never filed, but that, that, I have a lot of attorney friends, and I've never filed bankruptcy. But that's kind of funny to me how it goes, right? So that's, what a yeah. dream. Yeah, that's the, how silly it all is. Hey, we got a bunch of calls, uh, callers on the line, and uh, we'll take some, and uh, we'll mix it up as we go along, okay? Oh, I'd love to. I do a uh, – my cosmic triage way of reading is I, – I, I actually was pulling a few cards before I, I got on on the phone with you to see how this was going to go, and I got I got straight green lights all the way. Ooh, so, love it. Yeah. Love it. Hey, 813 is our first caller. That's from the Tampa Bay area. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Well, Jimmy Mack, it's Randy Rom, and I might be 813, hey. but I'm in Arizona right now, so hey. Oh, Arizona, okay. Well, you got the, the Tampa Bay number, right? I do, so I'm everywhere <laughs> and anywhere. <laughs> I love it. You have a question for Sarah? I do, Sarah. Um, two very interesting men in my life. Are either one of them going to step forward, or is somebody going to blow them both out of the water? Oh, let's take a look at that. When I do these uh, uh, these these sorts of things, what I do is I have consider a red light, a yellow light, a green light. One through ten shows me a green light. Eleven through twenty is a yellow light. That means you got to slow down or punch it, Ethel. <laughs> get, get through that that intersection. Red light is 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 stop, and then we find out what crosses that. So as I sit here, let's see what we're pulling here for you. Oh, you've got the water fairy. This is all about feelings and emotions. You're at a 28. <laughs> so I'm going to say you need to stop. Uh, take a look at what's really happening here. Let's find out what's crossing that here. Because these two guys, it doesn't sound like either one of them is really uh, good for your, your, your foundation. Your feelings and emotions aren't being valued. There's something okay. there, so I, I'm going to say that there's something better coming along because what's crossing that is restriction. So we've got the water fairy. I, by the way, I use uh, the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle cards through Collect. I was going to say, you're using the Wisdom of Avalon deck. I recognize who you're pulling. So, okay. Yeah. 
Well, okay. that's awesome. I love oh, synchronicity, baby. Yeah, there's some restriction there. And so okay. that tells me here that, that you're not being able to really express your feelings and emotions appropriately. So my recommendation based on this is that it's time to sit back, look at both of these guys because they're not valuing you and wait for the one who really does because he's coming. Okay. okay, well, I have health challenges, so I know that nothing is going to take place right away, but he was like, I don't want to talk about those. I want to see about these men. So thank you for that, dear lady. That's awesome. Oh, I you're welcome. How I you? Hey, you want to stand up? We'll rock some stuff out, honey. Hey, Jimmy, Matt Con already faced the north. Let's do it. Oh, dude. good. You're ready. I love it. And so for people who are listening, if you have a pendulum and want to use that, that's fine. You can at least watch the energy move. And if you don't, it's no big deal. We'll have you standing and testing it under a minute here. But you can just go ahead and uh, say, I am clear, and we'll see if you go forward, back, or in between. I am clear. I went forward slowly. Okay. So I'm going to change whatever that is blocking you from that. And okay. there you go. Now it's going to pull you forward harder. Oh, yeah. Wait. There you go. Awesome. So let's work on the energy of that because even with health challenges, um, I don't even get that you're safe and comfortable being in a relationship at all, by the way. And, you know, I tell all the beautiful women, hey, enjoy, uh, gosh, go to dinners and movies and events and, you know, have them, you know, at least go out with you and enjoy that, whatever that may be, more so than wondering, quote, unquote, where's this relationship going? So you hear what I'm saying. So y'all get a chance to go to balloon festival or an ice cream festival or who cares what enjoy that enjoy the person enjoy the time more than you know yeah you know what I mean? that's that's Get the restriction end of it yeah yeah exactly and so let's just let's work on that um okay. so if you're uncomfortable to date to be in a relationship to enjoy life that's kind of got some tremors in it i'm going to change all those to yes for you it's going to pull you straight forward when it shifts Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So that alone is going to help you. Um, and also they're, what they're talking about immediately for you is it's safe and comfortable to be vulnerable. And that's a no. And when I say vulnerable, I just mean open and receptive to relationships and love and that sort of thing. And right now that's a no. I'm going to change that to yes for you really quick. It'll pull you forward when it comes in. Okay. There it is. Awesome. Okay. So as I like yeah. to say, we'll see what happens now. So it'll be interesting, to say the least. So that's a good thing. Y'all have, have a yeah. wonderful day, and I thank you both. Well, thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Nine ten is our next caller. Hi, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hi, Jimmy. It's Debbie Jolly. I'm calling from Corey's home number. <laughs> oh, awesome. How are you? Oh, well, I need to talk to you, and I know we will later, but and okay. hi, Sarah. It's a pleasure to hear you speak, too, with Jimmy. Um, oh, hi. Happy holidays. My main thing, you know, if I could dump something, it would be these recurrent shingles. They just tear me up, they stress me out, or the stress gets them, but I know we've been working this for a long time, but it's pretty miserable, and, you know, my immune, my immune system is toast, so whatever. Okay. We'll let Sarah take a swing at that, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. What was your name again? I'm sorry, darling. I My name know. is Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, as you were speaking, I pulled a 10, and that's the raven. It's all about magic, coincidence, and synchronistic events, okay? A 10 means you've got a green light, but you're right on that verge of getting that yellow light where, you know, I'm going to say just keep going. But what crosses you, honey, is death. And, and that, it doesn't necessarily mean a death in, in like a family or, or like, a, a, you know, a physical death. But what we're looking at is there's something inside of you that I, and, and Jimmy, you can back me up on this or tell me to stick it in my ear, but you, <laughs> Debbie, you've got a lot of power. 
you've got a lot of power and a lot of magic inside of you. And I think you're like repressing it or something because I understand shingles. I understand what that does. I, and, I, and unfortunately, I've, I've had personal experience with it myself. Mm. But there's something inside of you that, that needs to be removed. It's, it's, like, it's like a recurring death over and over and over again. It, it, it feels to me that if you could just kind of like break through, what the shingles is doing is that it's, it's causing like an actual metaphysical breakthrough in your being that, that it's like something needs to be put to rest completely. Like you've got to remove this, this element from your being and allow this magic to flow through you. I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting that there's, there's, a, there's something, I mean, are, do you practice any kind of like Reiki healing or, or energy work or anything like that? Do you allow yourself I, to, to? I do if I sit, I mean, I've, I've been a student of Jimmy's for several years now. So if I do that, awesome. I'll, I do it on myself and I do it on others when I get a chance. But it's really nothing, it's not more than that, but that's powerful enough. It's Reiki and everything else that's good. And are you protecting um, yourself? I know I, I'm probably speak, preaching to the choir here, but you are protecting yourself before you do any other type of healing or anything. Because sometimes I know we gather, we, I, even I forget, and I've been doing this for a really long time, but even, sometimes I forget, especially in, in uh, emergency situations, to surround myself with golden white light before I go in and I begin healing others. Probably not. I know I'm, I'm pretty much a sponge for all the, the, the negative junk out there that, and I do the, the Jimmy's got some powerful clearing statements and I'm been doing them every day awesome. to just keep the trash out, keep, keep the garbage out, but it just sucks right back in. I'm like a sponge or something. So maybe Jimmy can help you take out your own garbage. You know, maybe, maybe that's the thing. It's you're so busy. You're so busy taking care of other people that at the end of the day, like there's not a whole lot of energy left inside of you to take out your own, um, you, you, you know, your own, uh, perhaps like a little mess or, or a mix-up or something. I nailed it. I the sense that you're holding on to too much and you're not letting your magic flow. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. Nailed awesome. it perfectly. Me too. Yeah, stand up. We'll rock it out. Uh, Just go with I'm going to do, do them all at one shot for you since it's a radio okay. show, okay? okay? Clear to yes, unclear to no, and running forward to yes, and it'll pull you forward right now. Yep. Awesome. So that's how fast we can go, folks. So it's a long list of things, and, you know, you can move it around that fast. So I would own shingles. I would just say that. I would be working on this every day until it was gone, by the way. Yeah. And it almost feels like we've kind of gone from limes to, to, let's say, a herpes 1-2 viral thing to now shingles. to, And it just they're showing me the hands of a clock, and it's like you're going around the clock on the the illness disease disorder state. Does that make sense? And it's yeah. almost like, yeah, it's almost like it's if it's in one thing, it's another. Is that's the feeling, okay? So yeah. I would work on shingles even and just go, obviously, I would do a liver cleanse, things like that. Uh, I would be doing the Epsom salt baths. I would be doing uh, the oatmeal Epsom salt baths and things like that. They're showing me the Aveeno or whatever brand. So that's the kind of thing I would look at. Uh, anything that's soothing to the skin, I'd be going both ways. I would be doing soothing things on the outside, and I would be taking things internally to extricate that out energetically as well. But let's just own it and say I have shingles and see if it pulls you forward, back, or in between. It's pulling me back, but you've already cleared right. it, I'm right. sure. <laughs> right. So there you go. See what I mean? And so it's really hugely on fake it till we make it. And that would be what I would do on shingles, uh, headaches, gout, doesn't matter what it is. I'd own it and delete it out. The second thing I would do on everything, blanket-wise, would be I've learned all the lessons I needed to from blank. And in this case, it's I've learned all the lessons I needed to from shingles. No. And we'll change all those to yes for you. Yep. There you go. And then it would be blank still serves me. And you don't want anything negative still serving you. So it would be shingles still serves me. So no. Good. So that's much better. And I would be doing that every day. I might do it twice a day. You know? mm. And I would, be, I would be knocking it out and out of the ballpark so hard and for so long that it would have no choice than to be shot out of the cannon. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense, and I know those statements, and you can't, I can't believe how long it's been since I've tried them. 
It's like, duh. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That's why you're calling in today. Yeah, that's okay. We're happy to hear your voice. And, you know, it's a practice, practice, practice thing. And, you know, I tell everybody, it's like even my movie star clients. I mean, you eat, you poop, you go to the bathroom, you will get dirty, you mow the lawn, you got to wash your clothes, take a shower. And it's the same with us. You, you know, piddle around with this every day. You don't want to obsess about it. I've had, you know, wildly famous sports people and politicians and all kinds of people and especially the movie stars that go Jimmy I want to say it exactly like you because they're so used to scripts you know and I go well yeah. then you'll be saying it, you'll be saying it different every day because I would never say the same thing twice I would mix it up all the time you know and it's almost like chopping down the tree you want to come at it sometimes from different angles mm -hmm. so I hope that helps thank you well hey, Jimmy sure I wanted today. to point yeah. out something Sure. That one of the things that I've noticed about you, and I don't know if anybody has ever actually said this to you, but you have a remarkable, absolutely remarkable ability to show people how to ask so that they can receive. Because, sure. I mean, when people don't know how to ask, they don't know how to receive. They don't know what they're receiving. So I'm just like sitting here. I'm just like my mind is getting blown by your ability to do that. I mean, you oh. take spiritual response therapy to a whole new level. Robert Dutzler would be pleased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're okay. rocking this. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And end of the day, you know, we never know what we're going to get, but we're certainly swinging for the fence and we want things to shift for her and shift out and on a lot of different levels. So hopefully that helped you, Deb. So hopefully she's still there or gone either way. Did I lose you? No, I'm right here. I don't know where Deb went. I'm sorry. Okay. I probably broke in at, at an inappropriate That's moment. Okay. I was just no, I'm talk to her a little. You're doing great. I'm thrilled to have you on and shake it up and uh, see what we can do too. Tell folks more about, some of the reading pieces that you do. Uh, you'd mention it briefly, but tell us about the cards and the crossroads, because I find that fascinating, green light, yellow light, red light, that sort of thing. Well, basically what I did, uh, when I first began doing tarot, I, was, I received my first tarot deck when I was 12 years old. And uh, my family, being intensely Christian, was terrified of anything occult. And, uh, of course, they were, they were tossed away, so I went and I found them again. <laughs> and, I, you know, it was, it was sort of like my, my – I am a Jungian analyst at heart, and I went to school to become an adolescent criminal psychologist uh, with the, the Jungian leanings, with, with signs and symbols and those kinds of abstracts. Um, what I loved about the Tarot is the, the 22 major arcana, which are solid. They, they're always the same. And the more I began reading about Tarot and studying it, the more I began realizing that there was a direct correlation between the Tarot and the I Ching. And, 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 and for our listeners that don't know that are from the South, she's saying the Tarot card, y'all. And oh, Carl Jones. Carl <laughs> Jones. <laughs> well, and then I've got other people, the Tarot. Right. Tarot, 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 Carl Jung, Young, whatever, all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I realized then that these signs and symbols um, are actually very, very powerful. And some very dark magicians and sorcery, I don't know if people really get into that, but it's real. When you, because, and I say this all the time, and everybody who knows me, everybody shout it out. The universe can be described, as Tesla said, through vibration, frequency, and energy. Energy, frequency, vibration, those are the three things. And, and Jimmy, you're rocking this because, man, I can feel this. I've got my pendulum over here, too. And I'm just, I'm watching, I'm watching you work, and I'm like, wow, this guy's good. But what I do with the, the red light, green light, yellow light is after I began, um, I needed a set of oracles, and I'm actually working on my own. But when I ran across uh, Colette Baron Reed's The Wisdom of Avalon, I realized that, you know, there was a pattern that emerged. I'm, my, my ability for pattern recognition is off the charts. It's just, I'm kind of a, a weird, I'm Rain man -ish like that, but... I, uh, I, I realized that there was this, this whole thing happening with regard to her symbols and signs um, and because it was loosely based on the, the tarot or tarot. 
And uh, so I pulled out, and I and I actually got to tell her this too, and she kind of chuckled. But um, it was one through ten, green light, meaning these are signs and symbols that say you're on your path, keep going. And I'm not one of those gurus who goes, hey, you, you 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 must be off your path. You must be off your path. <laughs> Whose path am I on then? <laughs> so. Right. So 1 through 10, you've got a green light, and this is my cosmic triage. People come to me, and they're in crisis. And like you, I've got celebrity clients as well, and they're like, I don't know if I should take this script. I don't know what I should do, blah, blah, blah. So we sit down, and it's very quick. It's very quick. You know, it's like I need yes or no, uh, left or right. And if you don't, um, you know, some people don't want a pendulum. They want answers that are are tangible in front of them in black and white. So 1 through Mm -hmm. 10, you got a green light. Keep going. Let's find out what class is it. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, absolutely. And that way no question goes unanswered. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those unanswerable questions that come along, you know. Tell folks who've just joined us what your website is so they can reach out to you, honey, for reading and some insight. Well, my personal website, and you can find it on Mm whitelightexpress.org, but my personal website, you can go to bluecollargoddess.com cosmictriage.com of course it's www.cosmictriage and triage is t-r-i-a-g-e but all of those I I sort of have like the circular spiral thing going you can find me all over the place (laughs) hey uh, we got another caller here uh, area code 512 what's your name where are you calling from hi this is Cynthia I'm calling from Austin Texas Hey, how are, how are you? you? Yeah. Good. So, you got a question for Sarah? Yeah, um, I was on her website though, and I saw the fundraiser, and there's the for the White Light Express. There's those beautiful alchemy stones, and um, they really spoke to me. And I just um, I, I hadn't seen any painted stones like that um, really ever before. What's the um, my question for you guys, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, is um, I tend to get anxiety around when things go well in my life. So when when things are going well, it's actually almost worse than when things start to go badly. And I just, I don't want to, I don't want to be in that rut anymore. Oh, I used to suffer from that disease. Boy, howdy. And every once in a while, I still have to check myself, Cynthia. And hey, thank you so much for giving us a shout out for Alchemy Stones. I did want to point out, and and God, I really appreciate that. Um, Those who contribute $100 or more to the uh, White Light Express 501c3 Foundation Enterprise uh, will receive a set of 10 individual Alchemy Stones. My husband, Jimmy, is a, uh, he's an artist. And he's been, we've been collecting stones. I mean, we use a lot of stones in a lot of our work. And I've got a labyrinth in my backyard. But, um, and by that, I mean, we've, we surrounded it with all of the stones. We go out on the beach, we pick up a rock. And, and uh, this Native American uh, taught me years and years ago. Uh, he was a Ute elder in Utah. Um, he picked up a rock one day when I, I had, I'd fallen off a horse. And he said, put all your pain in this rock because that's what rocks are for and then throw it away from you because they'll, they'll be able to take it and give it back to, you know, the grandmother earth. And so that was like when, it, you know, everybody needs a pet rock, right? A spiritual pet rock or alchemy stones. So um, we give, we do uh, chakra sets. Uh, with alchemy stones we actually this kind of started when we were very young and and didn't have a whole heck of a lot of money he actually painted this one of his beautiful designs on a one of my favorite stones for me and other people saw it it's sort of like i'll pray for you if you pray for me (laughs) Mm -hmm. so these are my husband's prayers uh we call him the alchemist because he he does a uh um uh i don't i don't want to cuss on your show but it's uh i don't care (laughs) <laughs> well, okay, well, it's a fuck cancer stone. We do fuck cancer, but it's P-H-U-C-K because it's a high vibration uh, oh, nice. fuck. And so we had a lot of friends that were suffering from cancer, so we started creating these stones for them to meditate with. And then we had, we did bridal sets. We did, all these people started wanting that, and then we had Reiki practitioners and psychologists and and then um 
uh, other people, they just they wanted these stones painted. So we finally just started charging. <laughs> We're like, ah, oh, this stuff costs money. So, but Cynthia, I wanted to point. It's funny because when you just as you called in, I was pulling. You got a number one, darling. All can be justice and balance. Okay, all can be justice and balance. So with regard to your fear. Um, and and I understand. It's like you know you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, because what goes up must come down, right? Exactly. Well, what crosses that, honey, is love. And and I'm lo- I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and it's like okay, we've got the Merlin and that's number one. You're at such a, a fabulous green light. But let's take a look at what Merlin is about. Merlin was this amazing mythological or possibly you know. Um, you know, I believe all myths are based on reality. Um, there was a story behind there somewhere, but a justice and balance. So let's instead of because what goes up must come down. All right, there, there. It's like going. It's like walking a labyrinth. When you walk the labyrinth, you are going to get to the center. I remember the first time I walked a labyrinth. I wanted when I finally got to the center of the labyrinth, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> but it's like Jimmy said, you know, everybody's got to, you know, take a shower and take out the trash and, and do the laundry, no matter who you are. Um, we all, you know, we all have to, to, to live and breathe in and breathe out. But when you get to the center of the labyrinth, you have to walk out. It is the path. It is the sacred spiral. So all of those ups, when they come down, maybe it's about that balance of, of, of when, when they come down, let's put a soft protective layer under you, a spiritual layer, a soft layer, a layer so that when, when you land, that you, get, you land on both feet and you mm-hmm. look up and, and it's sort of like you're surrounded by a cloud of light and love so that when, you know, those happy moments, those are core memories. And those are what I call golden links in, in our chain of happiness. So sweetheart, and I, and I understand because I'm I'm a little I'm a little acquainted with you. Um, I know that your downs are 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 harder than than this, just the average person. Okay, you've got a lot to deal with, and man, are you muddling through in a way that I honor. I honor big time. You know, it's 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 like. Love is what heals the energy of the soul, all right? And and that's uh, what's that's what's being crossed here. That's is, that's hundred percent that, true. Why don't we love those bad things that happen to translate it to its highest possible potential? You know, give people like Jimmy a call, give you know, drop me a line to say, you know, the the S H I T is hitting the fan, what do I do? Okay, well, and the, it, let's get you out of the room where the <laughs> where the crapulence is flying, where the fecal matter is hitting the fan. Let's get you to a safe place where you can sit down and breathe. And and you know, the thing is is that surrounding yourself with love and deserving feeling as though you were worthy and deserving of the, of that love is what's really really important. Because I have a feeling that you've been told so many times that you're not worthy. You're not worthy that, that you know, we need to remove those I blocks would, in there. I would agree with that. And I'm having having worked with Jimmy for like the last, I would say, what now, seven, eight years? Yeah. You know, I think Sarah's point that he's really good at, at teaching people how to ask. I don't ask for help. I'm like not that person that asks for help. And that's mm-hmm. probably why it's. I would say that's a big reason why it's been so good for me is because there's part of me that just doesn't know how to do that. But, um, Mm -hmm. I think, I think you're spot on in what you're saying. It's my, my son, um, actually finished the project part of his Eagle Scout project, which has been huge bonus contention for the last two years. Yeah. He finished it Saturday and it's just, it was almost like a complete shock to my system. Um, the last two days, just, realizing that that came through because I there's just been moments where I haven't had a lot of faith that that would happen so that is a um, huge accomplishment congratulations yeah well yeah for That's... him it's it's humongous it's tremendous I agree <laughs> and nice. as a parent it's tremendous too because I've I've tried to support him in that so anyway hmm. well thank you well, well said yeah you know, uh, Reverend, I got to give her credit for it. Reverend Tiffany White, Sage Woman, is my producer, and she uh, wrote me, I am on Skype, and she said, we were talking about myths earlier, Sarah was, and she says, myths are from women, history is from men. 
Myths are the truth. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So, well, you know, here's the thing, too, Cynthia. You got the power to test and muscle test and everything else. And, you know, my old joke is the two psychics meet in the middle of the road, and one says to the other, you're fine, how am I? So, <laughs> but at least you have that ability to test. Like Sarah's using a pendulum now, but, you know, you can go ahead and test. I would immediately drop to it's safe and comfortable to accept all the best life has to offer. And I think you're going to find that as weak right now if you test it. Yeah, that's really weak. And I'm going to change it to strength for you and bring in all the positive that we can. And we're going to change it immediately so she's learned all the lessons she needs to from it, release her from the service to the weakness of it, and now it's going to be strong. Yeah, it's much stronger. Nice. And that's where you want to be. And it's little things like that you want to do every day. I'm deserving. I'm open to receiving. I'm, my favorite ones would be receiving, deserving, and worthy. They're showing me that old uh, Saturday Night Live skit. I think it was Al Franken that did that skit where he'd look in the mirror and he'd go, and I'm beautiful and I'm special and I deserve to be happy. <laughs> I love that, yeah. It was so beyond, you know, ridiculously funny and tried and silly and, you know, just in your face. But it's almost like, gosh, we got to do that because if we don't do it, you know, we're not really inviting it from the universe or others. So I want to fake it till I make it and have you at least go ah, and feel better about life. You know, my two oldest sons, I'll text them almost every other day when I find something awesome on YouTube that's motivational. And it's like, get up and you know, I, I, I did a co-authored a book with Bob Proctor from The Secret, and I've, you know, worked with Reverend Michael Beckwith and, you know, done agape and that sort of thing for healing people. And uh, Les Brown was also in the movie The Secret, and he's awesome and motivational. And he would say, uh, you got to be hungry. I love that. And he went door to door back in the day selling TVs. And his friend, after a few knocks on the door, you know, uh, and all that rejection said, I'm going to be waiting in the car. And Les Brown said, I can't wait in the car. My mother's sick. I have no father. I'm hungry. Can you imagine knocking on doors trying to sell TVs back in the back in the day? Had it been in the early 70s, right? Just to try so you could eat. So you got to be hungry. And I've just seen tremendous change in your life. And you've raised your hand a million times with the company you're working with and for. And you've just gone by leaps and bounds. So if anything, I see you as deserving and receiving and worthy of all the best life has to offer. Make sense? Yes. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great holiday. Awesome. I, you want to, I want to point out one more thing, though, real here real quickly. I don't mean to talk over you, but, Cynthia, you're incredibly courageous. Thank you. You're, you know, the, your ability to transcend fear is is going to be your number one uh, ability to to step into the change that Jimmy was talking about. Because, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you got this going on, girl. You got this. <laughs> Thank you both. Love it. You're welcome. Thanks for calling in. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's well said. And, you know, uh, people, well, you know her, so, but, I mean, she's got several kids, uh, single mom, you know, working <laughs> – 10, 12, 18 hours a day, always working, you know, got something going on. And yet well, she's, and she's still brilliant. holding it all together. Yeah, and she's brilliant. She's done the MIT thing and, you know, that sort of thing. And so she's extremely intelligent. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a balancing act for anybody in this day and age. But I think she does uh, incredibly well. Often people don't have a reference point for what to measure against, for, or against, you know. Yeah. And so often we Fact. aren't sure where we're at along our path, which is the reason they talk to me, talk to you, green light, red light, yellow light, one through 10, whatever, you know, everybody needs a little direction. So, um, but yeah, well said, I agree. So fantastic. Gosh, well, we got to keep it stirred up here and uh, we're coming down to uh, end of the show anyway, but tell folks how to get a hold of you again. And also how to donate money and what they would get for that or the stone part of it? Well, it, they can go to www.whitelightexpress.org. It's just White Light Express, just exactly as it is, um, .org. 
and uh, there's there's links to my website, my personal website. There's a, a few different ways that I've I've sort of gone through these different tr uh, transformations as I stepped into the uh, the world of of doing public readings. I had been doing a lot of psychic readings for years and years and years, and and not charging people. My 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 people. My when you say they, I understand. I have my executive committee my my group of, of high self angels that I work with mm -hmm. and uh beings of light, crystalline beings of light and they speak with me and and, and they have never, ever, ever stirred uh, steered me into an incorrect uh position or or a place of extraordinary uh where I've gone, Oh my God, how did this happen? How did I get here? It's mm -hmm. it's horrible. But um my executive committee just they they would not allow me to charge for sessions i would i would do donations and what have you but i was raising my family and uh i had i had three children so it just kind of got to that point where uh finally in february of 2009 i I'd, I'd had a lot of really incredible incredible spiritual experiences things that defy description beginning with 1995 really but oh, in February of 2009, I was sitting with my husband in Joshua Tree, and uh, we were just having coffee out in front of our hotel room. We were staying at the uh, Harmony Hotel. Motel, uh, actually, that's the where you two stayed when they were mm -hmm. filming or uh, recording the the now infamous Joshua Tree uh, CD album. But anyway, so we were sitting out there in the morning having coffee, just you know, chit chatting. And, you know, honestly, <laughs> we thought that we were in the process of being abducted or something. Just it, 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 the, the ground became, it, well, the air around us became very, very still. And uh, it, it, suddenly the, the, all the stones in the little paved parking lot in front of us started, like, shaking a little bit. And mm. it, it kind of became a little bit dark. It was like something had come over us, and we're both looking around, and all of a sudden I began vibrating. Um, I, it's now been described to me as a kundalini experience, uh, where you had like a, a full a full spiritual awakening, where your body is uh, you know the, all the chakras are aligned and 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 balanced. But literally everything around us within about 15 feet was like just vibrating and shaking, and the rocks like literally. If my husband hadn't have been there, I I was I I would probably have committed myself because it was just a. Uh, they they lifted off the ground just possibly like an inch or two, and then they, wow. they came back down on the ground. And I was like, I, we have to go back to the room. We have to go back to. The, I couldn't touch anything. Everything I touched was like it was like zapping me. And even the doorknob on the hotel room. And and we just went in there and we sat down. And I began channeling this amazing like light and love and and these beings uh, that and I never really got into the whole space thing like aliens. <laughs> <laughs> until that moment because some of the wow. beings and the people that that I was speaking to were not from this planet and they were not uh, you know what I would consider angels because I've I've seen and spoken with angels since I was 9 but um this experience just kind of gave me the whole I had to do this whole 180 and go all right we're not alone <laughs> hey. I love it well, that's profound, and where better to happen than uh, Joshua Tree in the Harmony Motel? <laughs> right? I mean, it just couldn't get any more uh, cliche. <laughs> yeah. I right. swear I'm not making any of this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. I couldn't make it up if I wanted to. No, I get it. Believe me, it could be anywhere. It could be the Renaissance Festival. You never know, you know, and you still have an exotic wild Oh, it stuff could be at an Easter egg hunt. It could be at a... I love it. I'm the, I'm the Easter Bunny every year, so funny you should say that, see? The Bunny so, Beyond. Yes. Hey, uh, grab your pendulum. I'm going to work on uh, everybody that's listening and ever will listen. How about that? So All right, don't even let's tell do it. Yes, as your nose are. Uh, let's just do that everybody that ever hears this broadcast today and replays will be open to receiving, deserving, and worthy of all the best life has to offer. No to yes and change. Show her a yes when you're done. Thank you. <sighs> I'm clearing it out. That is beautiful. There you go. That is beautiful. And we're also going to give them that. good fortune. Abundance, and, uh, healing, manifestation of the highest yep. and best good. There you go. And it's going to go from no to yes and change for you. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, I'm getting a yes. Big time. Awesome. Love it. That is Anything beautiful. Anything we can change for you? Let's do um let's do your whole five oh one three C. Uh, that right would be now, fabulous. Stuck, Let's do that. Yeah, it's got a little stuck energy in it. They're saying, <clears throat> so that's yeah. going to show you a yes. And we're just going to take out any challenges with the government, IRS, uh, the attorneys, the accountants, donations, all of it now. And you're going to watch it go to no, and it shifts. Oh, there it goes. All that. Wow, that is a huge yes. Yeah, that is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, there it goes. So thank you. You're Aww. welcome, love. Thanks so much for being on the show, Sarah Nash. We love you. It's dreamy. So thank you. Yeah, for this has been it. a really beautiful, beautiful experience. And awesome. And, um, how about I I pull a, a real quick card for you? Do we have enough time for that? Before I would love we... it. Oh well, well, we'll make time for that. All right. Let's let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> let's go ahead and focus here. Uh, Jimmy, you got any questions or anything, or should we just go with the oh. universal life path? No, I, I always go the universe. We're good. All right. Well, <laughs> we've got a 13 here. And this is, this is funny because this is my totem. Actually, it's the owl. It's all about wisdom. It's mm-hmm. all about wisdom. This is a, a, a very high vibration. I'm going to say punch it, Ethel. Um, with the 13, it's all about deception and wisdom, though, too. So we want to make sure that we clear any people out in, in your reality that um, may are possibly practicing some sort of deception because it is crossed by the mystery, which mm. is really interesting. I, you know, sometimes I, I sort of, I, uh, I go, uh, when I get this, uh, when I get this combination because, and knowing you as I do in this, in this mm. last hour, which has been fabulous. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm going to say that you you are the real deal. There are a lot of people out there who who really want and 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 push forward with uh, their their gifts and their talents, but you, sir, you, sir, are the real deal. And and this is where the mystery comes in because uh, you embrace that mystery around you, and which allows you to make sure that people do not deceive you, and you are too wise to know. Yeah, trust me, the ones that are, I already know, and I love them anyway, so. Well, we have to. We <laughs> have to. to deceive me. <laughs> but, it's, it's, but you know what, Jimmy, I think it has more to do with the fact that there are people out there who do what we do who are deceiving others. Right. Well, so that's true. Just, yeah. So in, in, a, in a final, in a final, um, it, to say goodbye to everybody, let's uh, let's just sure. go ahead and clear out those 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 people who are using other people and 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 not using their gifts to the highest and best good. So let's bring in some angelic help for them, so that there they go. can go. Wow, you know, if I'm going to really do this to people, let's bring yeah. it into the light. Boom. There you go. There it is. Make it magical, mystical. I always like to say, and show and show me and tell me beyond all knowing, it could have only come from you. Amen. Oh, I love there that. Love Boom. it. Boom. Uh, outstanding. Thanks so much for being on the show today. I'm, I'm thrilled you're a guest. And join us again in 2017 sometime. We'll keep it stirred up. Oh, I'd love to do that. Thanks so much, Jimmy. Well, Thank you, honey. And thanks Happy for everything. Happy holidays to you and bright blessings. Yeah. You Bye-bye. too. Thank you all. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Imagine 65% more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With exceptional gifts at up to 65% off at Simon Premium Outlets, you can do up to 65% more giving this holiday. Simon Premium Outlets, exceptional brands at up to 65% off. At Clinton Crossing Premium Outlets, don't miss the Give It All sale. Each weekend from December 1st through the 18th, enjoy extra special offers on your favorite gifts from accessories and jewelry to apparel and electronics. Up to 65% off means up to 65% more giving. Clinton Crossing Premium Outlets, a Simon Center.